Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Tom Arbor, and this channel is all about Hingeback tortoises. So what we're gonna do today is take those eggs that Blondie, my female Western Hingeback, laid a few days ago, and we're gonna put those into the incubator. So what we have to do first is to cut some holes into a disposable container. Then we're gonna put some hatch right, which is a commercial product that is specifically designed for hatching reptile eggs into that container. Then we'll place the eggs in that container and we'll mark the top of the egg, the date those eggs were laid, and which tortoise laid those eggs. And we'll place that container into the incubator. So let's do it. So we've got the eggs all laid out in the hatchrite, which is perlite and what they call a water crystal. It's some type of polymer that holds water really, really well. What you'll notice is that these eggs kind of have that almost pinkish hue. That means these ha haven't chalked yet, and that's really what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that egg to turn white, and what it will do is it will start from the top down and the egg will slowly turn much more white and more chalky, and we say the egg is chalky. So that's a good sign they're fertile. Once that happens, after that, that's when we start looking for blood vessels to develop. So as you can see, my incubator is full. I have nine Western Hingeback eggs and those other two containers with the red tops. I currently have four Conexus homiana or Holmes Hingeback eggs developing. So it is possible that I'm gonna have a lot of baby tortoises. I feel hopeful, much more hopeful than last season that I will produce some of each species. Thanks for tuning in. Please share this work. If you know anybody that just loves tortoises, you know, this information can apply to anybody that's raising different species of tortoises. Like, subscribe, really appreciate your support. Go Hingeback Tortoises.